Nothing better than relaxing in your bongo with a nice glass of wine. But what do you do if you've got guests for dinner? Hey. You're probably wondering what this little flappy thing is for. Well, in fact, it's an extra seat and I'm going to show you how to make it up. First of all, you need to slide the seat forward as far as it will go. Next, tilt the seat forward. Finally, flip the footrest back over on itself and there you have a seat for your guest. Oh, that's better. Cheers everyone. One of the most common questions that we get here at Bongo Towers is how do you elevate the roof and how do you get it back down again? It's not as straightforward as it might seem. You want to make sure the handbrake is on. That's the most essential thing of all. Secondly, turn the engine on. And thirdly, you want to press this button here where it says open. You'll notice it's very noisy in here with all these beeps going off, but it's there for a reason. You should keep your finger on the open button until the beeping stops. Many people are aware that in fact you can lift this up and down to create more headroom. Now, many people use the upstairs bit for storage, but me, I'm feeling a bit knackered and I'm going for a kit. Let's just hope somebody doesn't close the roof while I'm up here. When it's time to bring the roof back down again, after ensuring there's nothing left up there of course, firstly, make sure the handbrake is on. Secondly, start the engine up. Third stage is to press the lock cancel button. And fourthly, Press the close button and the roof will come down. You come halfway down. That's for you to uh, do a quick check that there's nothing left up there. When it's all clear, just make sure you press the close button again. And when it's fully down, it will stop beeping. So, Howard, what did you think of that then? Well, I suppose that was all right, if you're interested in bongos. Next week, we're going to tell you how to change the coolant on a bongo using only a claw hammer. <laughs>